predictably in anything uh, seemingly radical, there's, there's always a, a, a siren song of people who say hey, this and that and this and that. Initially, during the time of the campaign, the, the message was that I was lying. This is a, a, an electioneering gimmick. I had no intention of fulfilling this commitment. I won't be able to find the money. I'm just deceiving the people of Ghana. Well, when it happened, then the argument was shifted into, oh, but there are no facilities. Those who are making that argument, of course, forgot about their own responsibility for the fact that there were no facilities. I just come in. You can't fix me with the responsibility of the state of the facilities. You have to look at those who had managed the matter before, but they forgot it. They thought it was important to be able to deserve there were no facilities in this. But all of that, I believe, has not gone down well with the majority of our people. They recognize the opportunity and the importance of this initiative, and they have grabbed it full scale. And we are going to continue down this road. My hope is that soon the Parliament and myself will be in agreement that we should even bring legislation in that will make it compulsory for every child in Ghana to go to school from kindergarten right up to university level. I want to make you the person of That matter is now up in for public discourse. It, is, it has not yet concretized itself into specific legislation, but the, the discussion, the conversation on that is now part of our national discourse. And it should be, because I believe that is the right thing for us to do, to make it a matter of legislation, and therefore of uh, that if you see children hanging around the streets who are not in school, you know they're breaking the law and we can take action against their parents, especially if we have made the provision, made it possible for them to be able to go to school. And we're going to do that. Yeah,